to day 25. This is the very middle day of my travelling adventures. So, um, yeah, I'm halfway through. And still in Skopje, I head off tomorrow uh, to Belgrade and I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've had yesterday and today uh, really relaxing days um, because I saw most of what Skopje has to offer in my first couple of days. This is probably the only country that, you know, I would not um, recommend to people to come to. Um, I, I just don't, wouldn't make my tourist list in the future. Um, it's definitely not a place that I'd be begging to come back to. Um, but I'm happy I've been here because you can't go anywhere and not have an opinion. So I'm really happy to do that. Uh, so I'm glad I've been here and the rest has been really good for me. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Uh, as you can see when I'm somewhere and I'm really enjoying it, I want to get out and see as much as possible and take in as much as possible. And I did literally do that in the first couple of days here. Um, and I enjoyed that, that was great. And I have enjoyed my couple of days off as well. My feet have really appreciated it. Uh, my two little toes blistered right up. I've lost the toenail on one of my little toes. Uh, so they've had a, a good couple of days rest. Um, and I've just come out today because uh, I'm bored shitless in the room and there's only so much Fox TV you can watch. So <laughs> I've come out to make sure, you know, I've covered the areas. Um, I'm happy with, with what I've seen. There's a couple of blocks here that I've stretched myself out to, to have a look around, uh, trying not to put too much pressure on my feet. I actually went to put on um, some cool pants today. I've been cart carting barley pants with me. Um, the whole trip, saving them for the hot days, and how they're gone. I must have left them in Turkey. Don't know how, but they didn't make it into the roll. Uh, I roll my clothes, so they didn't make it into the roll when I moved positions, and I don't have them anymore. Now, no biggie. I can go out and purchase pants if I need to. It just means I finally put on the shorts, well, three quarter pants, which. I hate and I'm looking at my white legs going, ah, they're in shock. But they're cool, they'll get me through and uh, I'll see what happens when I get to Serbia if I can be bothered. I just had a look at the shops then here and I cannot be bothered. So, um, yeah, just come down Riverside, enjoying the cool under the trees. I'm gonna take a walk over there and have a look shortly. I'm a little bit fascinated by the ghost boat. Just why don't they pull it to pieces? It just seems to be a city that doesn't finish anything off. Um, there's not a lot of care that goes into the place so they don't employ people. It just makes you, I think about home and I think about the botanical gardens and I think about all the workers that make that possible and the jobs that it provides and how we, you know, to beautify our city and to keep it beautiful. Uh, all the work that goes into that because being in a city um, where that work doesn't go into it and the jobs aren't there. They're literally, you know, even like I, I mentioned before with Turkey, um, there's people cleaning the streets all day everywhere. I have not seen one street cleaner here. The rubbish congregating everywhere is just, uh, I don't know if you, you really can't make stuff out here, but it, it's just all age old and it's not being picked up. And, you know, I've got a cigarette packet down next to me, next to me here. and. It just, um, it's a little bit heartbreaking for the, the city itself. You can see that it's sort of trying to go for a tourist grab, but they just can't seem to get the mix right. Or it's just so corrupt that people keep taking money and, and not finishing anything off. Um, and what do I know? I'm just here for a few days. You read up what you can and you learn what you can, but you know, I really can't understand a city and the history that you know has such deep histories and had been run over and run over and taken by so many, taken over by so many different machines within its lifetime. Um, it was interesting that the tour guide saying the other day that they're only 60 years into um, into having governments and, and they've moved from, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? You know, like we are having voting systems and the opposition's always, as soon as the government changes over, everything gets stopped. 
So they he said, you know, it takes a country a long time to get from, from communism to capitalism. Um, and then they're all corrupt anyway. So, you know, I believe that there's cartels that run it here. I'll move on tomorrow to Serbia. Uh, so I'm off to Belgrade and catch up with Alex and his family, which will be really lovely. Um, Alex trains uh, with the organisation, Bob Jones Organisation in Melbourne, in which, well, throughout Australia and New Zealand, teaching Sistema, uh, which I'm awfully interested in. I just think it's a great system, martial arts system. So, yeah, looking forward to catching up with them. And I'm in Serbia for six days, so it's another nice long stay. Then after that, I move into three day moves pretty much from then on, three to four day moves. So then I'll be going to Dubrovnik, across to Naples, doing Amalfi Coast, down to Sicily. I'll check next week how Sicily's going since the bad fires there uh, and whether I should reschedule. Um, and then off to Malta last and heading home. So three and a half weeks to go and I'm looking forward to it. And it's been good talking to you guys. Thanks for listening to me and uh, talk to you tomorrow from a different location, if not tomorrow, the following day. Okie doke, bye.
Macedonia is complete.